Division Dispatches. Hi, I'm Justin Rempel. I'm a Labor Relations Consultant with the Manitoba School Boards Association. I'm here today to talk to you about the Must Fund. The Must Fund has been around for 30 years. If you must know, the Must Fund stands for the MSBA Universal Standards Trust Fund. Essentially, the Must Fund is an insurance program that protects divisions against costly legal bills arising from employee grievances and interest arbitration. During the late 70s and 80s, unions would target smaller school divisions with grievances that had provincial implications. Because of the extensive legal costs, some of these smaller boards would concede principal, give up a management right, or agree to a higher than necessary settlement because it was actually cheaper for them to do so than to pay the legal costs. This action, however, had serious implications for all the other school boards in the province. As you may know, a labor relations decision or action by a school division can have implications on neighboring school divisions. This can arise through collective bargaining or through grievances. A division that settles a grievance arbitration can affect management rights for other school divisions. The stakes can be high. It was decided a financial assistance plan was needed to aid boards in the protection of management rights and responsibilities, salary increases, and other employee labor relations matters that have provincial implications. At its meeting in January of 1982, MASS, as it was then known, the MASS executive passed a motion to support a proposal from the Brandon School Division in regard to a universal standards trust fund. The three most important parts of the Brandon proposal were that boards should be able to make the decision to go to arbitration on the basis of principle rather than economics. That a fund be established to be used for the purpose of paying legal costs associated with all interest and rights arbitrations and subsequent court cases. That the fund also be used for the protection and furtherance of management rights. Over time, as labor relations matters have become more complex, the Must Fund guidelines have also evolved. MSBA has always had a 100% participation rate from school divisions in Manitoba, as school divisions have viewed the Must Fund program as an essential service to ensure that divisions are able to deal with the legal costs associated with having unionized workplaces. A trustee is elected from each of our six regions to sit on the committee, and it's typically a two-year term. Three of the regions have an election in one year, and the other three in an alternate year. This provides the committee with ongoing consistency of knowledge of the Must Fund, how it operates, and context of recent and past decisions. The MSBA Labor Relations Department also attends meetings to provide background and insight into division's applications to the Must Fund. So what does the committee do? The Must Fund Committee typically meets two times per year. Their purpose is to oversee the Must Fund account and ensure there is sufficient funds for the fund to continue, determine the annual Must Fund assessment fee, assess all Must Fund applications, review the audited statements of the fund, review the Must Fund investments to ensure they are viable and liquid enough for timely usage, and finally, authorize payments for professional services related to the fund. So how does the Must Fund work? The fund is there to provide financial assistance to school divisions for the legal costs they incur in matters of grievances, arbitrations, whether rights or interest, union certification, labor issues that go to the Manitoba Labor Board or the Human Rights Commission, or labor relations issues that have provincial implications for all school divisions. Must Fund applications are submitted to the MSBA Labor Relations Department to be compiled and presented to the Must Fund Committee. The issues once they reach the committee may be approved in principle prior to any actual legal costs being incurred. Once legal costs are incurred by divisions, they must submit their bills in a timely fashion to the Labor Relations Department. There is a deductible, however, as the Must Fund acts like an insurance program. The deductible is currently $2,000, meaning that divisions must pay the first $2,000 that they incur for the legal costs of a particular issue. One thing we ask of divisions is to regularly communicate with their labor relations consultant and to be in touch when there are labor relations issues going on or if divisions have received a bill or if an issue is closed. 
Each year, the Must Fund Committee examines the utilization of the fund and also examines the projected usage for the upcoming year based on outstanding or pending issues. An amount is decided upon and then that financial assessment is broken down for each division. The payment required of each division is based on two calculations. A flat fee consists of 48% of the assessment based on MSBA's categories of division size based on enrollment ranges. A variable fee for each division makes up 52% of the assessment and is based on actual enrollment numbers for each division. Notification of the fee assessment is sent out to divisions in February and payment is required prior to July of each year. If you have any questions related to the MUST Fund, please have your Secretary Treasurer call your Labour Relations Consultant and we'll be happy to answer your questions.